Good morning everybody! Today we are at the Disney Boardwalk Villas. We are going for our Bon Voyage adventure breakfast. So we get to see Rapunzel and Flynn and Ariel and Prince Eric. We're very, very excited about this one. Are you ready for an adventure? Look who's all dressed up for the occasion. Yeah, you don't look too, but there we go, there's a smile. Yay! You're gonna go and meet Princess Rapunzel? You're gonna meet Rapunzel today? Yeah? <laughs> wow! Such a beautiful resort, it really is. Beautiful. He's off already. <laughs> Haven't even met them yet, and he's already getting weepy. Are you dancing? Are you dancing? <laughs> I get it. I was speechless the first time I saw her too. We like remember. <laughs> <laughs> you get to up all over you too. That's why we had to tell Rapunzel to start wearing shoes. <laughs> Although good plan, you don't even have shoes. <laughs> I don't think uh, some girl here lost her shoe and got married the next day, so I think it's a little shoe for that. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I know you mean. Shoes. Yep. Can't get married. I don't exactly condone you sneaking out behind your mom's back and going to a party with a boy, but <laughs> I know. Look at her. And she's so pretty. Just wait until you see the real thing. She's almost here. Mm. I know. I know. <laughs> so Rapunzel's a bit of a sort of an enforced favourite princess. <laughs> yeah, we had. She's my favourite princess too. When we had her, the song that was actually playing when we found out she'd been born was "I See the Light." I love it. So. So we're gonna set lanterns off for every single version. Yep. Perfect. I love it. So when you get old enough to draw your own pictures, what you get to do is you get to draw your dream on the lantern, you set it off first, and it's like making a wish. <laughs> you threw her! I'll save her. It's okay. I got her. But I do have to show you something. I have to keep it a secret. <gasps> you look like you're really oh, good with secrets. Oh. Okay, ready? Wow. I know, <laughs> look at it. It's so shiny. I know, we have to keep it safe so nobody else tries to steal it. Although I don't know if it's the right side, just yet. <laughs> <Ready>? Sophie! <laughs> She's like, it's shiny! It's shiny! Here, no, we'll hide it. Or Ruffy and Karen get it. Or Rapunzel sees it. She might get a little jealous, I'm not gonna lie. You got her? I know it's a lot of hair. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Are you excited? Yay! <laughs> Sophie, say hi! What's your name? Sophie. We haven't seen Pascal yet, have we? <laughs> so <laughs> So Yes, please. Okay, you ready? Let's We're gonna wave see. at everybody. I call it the awkward celebration. A celebration for you, a celebration for you, a celebration, dear friends, a celebration for you. Let's give our travelers a great round of adventurous of you did it. I know. And so we all of our adventures we come true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was that fun? Well, I hope that the footage from, from the breakfast comes out okay. That was a very, very emotional breakfast once the characters started coming out, especially once Rapunzel came to join us. Now, for those of you that don't know, obviously Sophie came to us through surrogacy through a wonderful lady called Lisa and because it was surrogacy we weren't actually able to get down to the birth in time because she lives a little way away from us but in you know there's a silver lining to it in the sense that as we were driving down to finally meet Sophie the day she was born we got the phone call to say that she was here and what time she was born and I looked at the iPod in the car and the song that was playing at the moment she was born was I See The Light from Tangled. So that is why, for those of you if you're wondering why Rapunzel's a big deal for us and Finn's a big deal for us and that film is a big deal for us and particularly that song, that's why because it's it was the moment that Sophie came into the world. Um, to be able to tell Rapunzel that um, was an absolutely fantastic moment for us and she got a little bit teary too, sorry Rapunzel, I didn't mean to make you cry. The meal, the food in there is absolutely incredible but to be honest that's not why we wanted to do this experience, that it wasn't about the food, it was about meeting Rapunzel, meeting Flynn, meeting Ariel, meeting Eric. Our server, Chrissy, thank you so much for making all the difference in just keeping Sophie entertained and bringing straws and things for her to play with, keeping her smiling. You are a perfect example of the Disney difference, Chrissy. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. And of course, to all four of you, Rapunzel, to Flynn, to Ariel, and to Prince Eric, again, if you ever get to see this, just know that we really, really appreciated the incredible experience you gave us this morning. Um, I'm feeling a little emotional. So, I, I could not recommend this breakfast anymore for the sheer character experience that we've just had. Absolutely amazing. We are now making our way into Hollywood Studios. So we're at the Hollywood Studios. Uh, it's their 30th anniversary as well. And of course, Galaxy's Edge has just opened. I may have a reservation for something to do in Galaxy's Edge. Ah, oh, that building. That just brings back so many memories of California in 2017, where we did the Adventures by Disney backstage magic trip. But at the moment, we're currently hunting for Mickey. Ooh, we go see Mickey and Minnie. It is very, very hot today. 
which is lovely. But we are going to be applying sun cream every 10 minutes <laughs> this way. on YouTube in a few weeks. There you go. Yeah. Oh, she'll love it. This is incredible! Wow! Literally, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually here. We've got the Millennium Falcon like right there. This is just amazing. I'm a little bit gobsmacked and a little bit speechless. Wow!
checked in for Savvy's workshop where I'm going to go and get hold of a, a lightsaber. <laughs> I'm acting like a little child because I'm so excited. I should also just mention that because Sophie is napping, Mark is staying out here with her because obviously you can't take strollers in. We don't want to wake her up by carrying around too much. So I'm going to be going in alone. Welcome to the workshop. Yeah, that last one is right this way. My first builder, he's sitting in your station right here. Thank you. No one's out. No one's out with you, I hope. I hope not. Thank you. probably looks like a lot of old junk. But let me clarify something. Some of it is new junk. <laughs> I know this seems like, well, it's a lot. But for us, it's everything. Now, we've met the gatherers. You may call me Kim Bay. We humbly call ourselves the gatherers because we search the galaxy for ancient relics. Gotten places, abandoned outposts, battle ravaged planets. And what we find, we bring you. So, for those stormtroopers that see only worthless clutter, those who know, see priceless history. And in these troubled times, preserving our past might just ensure our future. Now, you all have heard the legend of Luke Skywalker, yes? Yes. Yes, well, I could hear that there is another, a new Jedi. Do you know her name? Yeah. Rey. And what she is leading is this spark of hope you all have been waiting for. And that is why you're here. To look ahead. To build this, a lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and darkest enemies. It is elegant and enigmatic. To build a saber is an art. The saber is a reflection of the builder with a force flowing between them. And today, you get to feel that connection. Well, Enough of man talking. Let us begin. We begin with probably the most important component of a lightsaber, the kyber crystal. Able to focus the energy of the force to magnify it. Some say the kyber crystal is the heart of a lightsaber. The color of the crystal determines the color of the saber's blade. Blue. Wielded by the great master Obi Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now we hear Rey. Bring Qui Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and the Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare and beautiful, like the one wielded by Mace Windu. Red, sometimes called the color of power, the crystal of Dark Bomb, the Sarge Ventress, Dark Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But these are all stories of the past. We're here for you, our future. Now it is time for you to select your Kylo crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. Indulge me for a moment. Please, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now, envision all the kind of pictures I've described. Which one calls to you? Now, in your mind's eye, select your kind of crystal. And remember, it is equally likely that the crystal is choosing you. Now, open your eyes and take your crystal. And once you select your crystal, please place it in the crystal holder. <laughs> now it is time to join your Kyber Crystal 
the same design that you have selected. The hilt is the foundation of your lightsaber. The hilt is your center of the soul. The hilt is also a part that prevents your hand from being disintegrated. <laughs> Nobody works that. Okay. All right. In these boxes are all the saber components that create this weapon. Inside, you will find your chassis, your activation plates, grips, emitters, and auto caps. Building a lightsaber is a very personal journey, and just like you selected your type of crystals, you will select each part to create a saber that is uniquely yours. The gatherers are here to help you if you need to. So please, everyone, it's time. Let's build. Wow. 
that was the experience aside from the lightsaber, just the actual experience of going in there, being part of something in a small group like that. <laughs> I actually feel quite emotional. I did get a little bit teared up, much like our friend Ryan, who did it two months ago in California. I did get teared up in that because it just felt so real and the storytelling, the way they execute it, it's just absolutely wonderful. Such a cool experience. I can't believe I've got my very own personal lightsaber. <laughs> it's brilliant. Okay. Really, I should actually add a big, big thank you to my husband in here because he was the one who actually put this and made it possible for me to do it. So, a big thank you to you, Mark. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to have to put this away though because the first one will run around and I don't want to break it. I don't, want, I don't want to leave this land ever. Can we just live on Batu now? So that is one of the things I would say about Batu is for me personally, obviously it feels um, incredibly immersive, like you are actually there, but also the land, the area, whatever you want to call it, it feels lived in. Does that make sense? It feels real. It feels like it's living and breathing. Um, and I imagine as it settles and, and you know, they push more and more and do new things that that feeling will grow and evolve with the land I am absolutely blown away by what they've done here it's absolutely incredible and I love it is hot 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 I personally love the hot weather Sophie is not so fond I don't think Mark's too fond either <laughs> um, we're just about to go to the Hollywood Studios baby care center We've, we'll have scored our fourth baby care center uh, to go and give Sophie her lunch and get her all sorted out and whilst I was doing my lightsaber experience Mark managed to get us at the very last minute a slinky dog fast pass so for those watching and those of you that know how the fast passes work slinky dog can be quite a challenging one to get a fast pass for sometimes but we have managed to get one for later on this evening so we're very very happy with that um, we're pretty much going to be at Hollywood Studios for the rest of the day because we're also going to see Fantasmic tonight. So we'll see how we get on with this heat. But for now, I'm gonna, we're gonna go off and feed Sophie and then see what the rest of the afternoon brings.